Welcome back, friends, for another Tuesday. It's me and Mango. Yay! <laughs> you want to know what we did this week? Well, I'm going to tell you because we're friends. I took the paper bag pattern and I made it five times over. I wanted to know what it would be like if I made it in several different weights or several different types of woven fabric. You want to see how it went? Well, if you want to see, you got to stick around. I'm Nye, and this is Mango with Ellie and Mac. Come along, friends! Okay, friends, so now you're back and you're ready to see the results of my paper bag skirt make. I made five, that's ten. I need to leave it here. <laughs> five! Not your kindergarten five. <laughs> Actually, your kindergartners, kindergartners are probably smarter than me right now. Anyway, five. I made five skirts and I had a whopping good old time making a mess in my sewing room. <laughs> I made five of the skirts and I made them out of different woven fabrics. So the first fabric that I actually made it out of is an embroidered cotton. Now the cool thing about this cotton is that it has a double border. So it actually looks really pretty. And what I did is I decided not to hem the bottom, but to make the skirt with the bottom so that I could show off this little scalloped hem. It also has some embroidery on the actual fabric, which is super awesome. I feel like this is a really pretty uh, spring color um, and I, I kind of really liked it. The one thing about using this fabric was that it was very sheer. You are not getting away with this skirt and this light fabric without a liner. So what I did is I went ahead and I installed a liner in this skirt. Very, very easy if you need to install a liner in the paper bag skirt. All you have to do is take the front piece and back piece. And instead of just cutting one, cut two. One of the original fabric that you would like to be your main and one each of the lining fabric, which can be any kind of um, broadcloth or something like that for the inside of your skirt. And that's what I did. So a very lightweight kind of sheer woven underneath the paper bag skirt. The next fabric that I made the paper bag skirt out of is this luxury cotton from the style magnolia now this fabric is very durable i really love that it's digitally printed because it means it's not gonna fade i love the shape of it in this fabric it kind of lies over my curves but doesn't hug them too much i did not have any difficulty finagling this cotton fabric it falls fairly straightforward. You know, you're not going to get a whole lot of drape from a cotton fabric. It keeps its form. Um, I did not have any difficulty sewing with this fabric. It's not bulky. I feel like this fabric is a good one for the paper bag skirt for a fall skirt, especially in these colors. This is a stretch woven. I know it sounds ridiculous. Stretch and woven kind of don't belong in the same sentence, kind of like pizza and pineapple, but they go together in this case. So this stretch woven, uh, it feels really good. It's kind of a silky fabric. And the reason why it's called stretch woven is because, can you see this real quick? I'm gonna put my little fingers on here. You see that? That's some give that you're not gonna get out of 100% cotton woven. So the stretch woven is a different feel. You can also, can you hear that? I don't know how many of y'all were born in the 80s, but do you remember those jackets? We called them swishy jackets. And we used to wear those jackets and every time you walked, it was like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. that's this skirt. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. They gonna see me coming in the office. Whoosh. Oh, that's nigh. Don't worry. That's just nigh in her stretch woven skirt. When you're sewing it, it likes to move around. So I recommend using some uh, sticky tape, magic tape. 
that kind of thing, uh, hem tape in order to keep it in place when you're about to hem it or when you're doing your paper bag waist sections. I love the feel of this. I feel like it's just this really silky kind of feel. It moves with your body and I just, I really thought this was a beautiful fabric to make that skirt on. This is a rayon chalice. Me and Rayon Chalice have a love-hate relationship. Rayon Chalice likes to move around when I'm trying to pin it down. <laughs> and so I had a, a little difficult time, but I love this movement in this fabric. Oh, it's just the most glorious movement. You're never gonna get a better swish, um, quiet swish, than you would out of a Rayon Chalice. Uh, the only difficulty that I had were with the pockets. Um, I had a tough time because I felt like after I top stitched my pockets on my other skirts, they laid flat, but this one kind of droops. Like this is how it lays fine, right? But when you wear it, the pocket kind of is a little droopy. So in order to fix that next time, I'm gonna shorten this piece right here so that I can bring it into the body of the skirt a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure if maybe I didn't get my seam allowance correct on that one pocket or whatever, but you'll see it in the video. Um, both this and the embroidered cotton, both of the very light fabrics did that. And I thought that was kind of a shame. Um, but I still love the skirt. Don't care. Still gonna wear it. Um, here it is. Don't you just love that? Woo! Right? Right? I know, huh? Oh, it's so pretty. So this last fabric is actually a holdover from last year's Millie Mae clearance sale. And this is a two-way stretch. Um, they had this in like three colors and I bought it and I was like, oh yes, I'm gonna make myself some paper bag pants and I never actually made them. But I did make a paper bag skirt out of it. And what, what I found about this fabric is that it's very thick. And this is the only waistband that I did not interface because it is that thick. Um, I felt like this skirt fit quite well. I mean, this is an excellent um, office skirt. It would be great in the winter time. That would look super cute if I had on like super black knit tights and like some, you know, office booties and not that kind of booty. Don't be nasty. Office booties <laughs> and like a cute like blouse or whatever. Yes, because we've been. Yeah. That was gross. I I just hope that you all have a wonderful week. I hope that your Tuesday is giving you all the joys. I hope that this week, yes, so all the things. Yes. <laughs> Bye.